shove our small feet away from the tree. So about there. And then we dig all the way around with the shovel. You're struggling. About three or four inches deep, just enough to be under the grass, but not so deep that you start to dig up roots. This might take a while. Make sure that it's even all the way around. The next step is to weed out the area surrounding the tree. So what you want to do is grab out the grass. You want to grab out the grass. Try not to grab too much of the dirt. And then you grab the grass, you shake out all the dirt, and you put the grass in the bucket, not like I, don't throw it behind me like I just did. Not good. So, and you don't want to go too deep because then you'll get the tree roots. And if you do, perchance, find a daffodil bulb, little seedy thing in there, um, just put it back in. So yeah. Once you've weeded all the way around the tree, you want to top dress, which is a fancy word for putting dirt, fertilizer, on the top of the tree, of the dirt. So you're going to use four cups and try to sprinkle it evenly around. You don't want some places to be way thicker than others. is going to be to spread mulch all around the tree. Not the tree, around the area where you weeded out, which is around the tree. So what you want to do is spread it thinly around the base of the tree because if you have too much mulch near the tree, it's going to suffocate its little roots. So we want not mulch volcanoes, we want mulch valleys. So thicker out the edges to keep out all the weeds. Mulch also protects the trees during the winter because it keeps it warm and locks in moisture, and it also blocks light, so the weed, so weeds will not grow. So now you've finished preparing your tree for a long winter's nap, like in the in that poem. Anyway, it has mulch all around it and some fertilizer, and it's protected from all the weeds by a circle. So, yeah, tree, happy tree, all tucked in for the winter.